In this video, we're going to be calibrating an AC-DC TIG machine. If the customer requires uh, the AC function to be calibrated, we don't actually do AC. We'll do DC positive and DC negative, both sides of the cycle. So we're connected up as before. It's important to remember with any TIG machine to turn the HF off or into the lift TIG mode. And if there's any pulsing functions, turn those to the off position as well. As previously, we're going to open a calibration form. Uh, this machine, I know we've done this before, so I can quite easily and quickly find it using the search engine on the serial number. Once it's highlighted, simply click the recalibrate button and we've got everything there. Customer's name, address, make, model, serial number. All we'll need to do is enter the temperature. Today's temperature is 17. We're still doing a standard accuracy uh, calibration. And from the last time, all my readings are set in. So quite quickly, we're ready to start taking our readings. Our first reading, our minimum reading, is 30 amps and 11.2 volts. Uh, so we set the amps at our first reading, 30 amps. We'll then energize the machine, turn it on, either from the front panel or using the TIG torch trigger. We're then gonna load the welder to 30 amps, 11.2 volts within that 10% margin. So now we have the welder reading 10.2 and 30 amps. We put that in the program. And the calibrator's reading 29 amps and 10.3. Onto the second reading, 120 amps and 14.8 volts. So we set the machine to 120 amps and load up until we got 14.8 volts within that 10% margin. We then enter the 120 amps and 14.8 volts into the program. And then the calibrator reading, 119 and 14.7. The next reading is 220 amps, 18.8. Then we load up the calibrator, looking for 18.8 volts. We're going to enter into the program 220 amps, 19.2 from the welder. And then we'll enter the calibrator reading of 218 amps and 19 volts. Then we'll move on and take our next reading, 310 amps and 22.4 volts. Set the welder to 310, then we'll load the calibrator to read around the 22.4 volts. So we have the welder reading 310 amps, 22.7. We enter that into the program. And then we fill in the calibrator reading, 309 and 22.2. Now the final reading, maximum, 400 amps. And we're looking for a voltage of 26.0. So let that settle. So we have the welder reading 399, 26.27, well, enter that. Then we enter the calibrator reading 398 and 26.3. And then just for training, instead of putting 26.3, if we put 29.3, a fail value in, the program will flag up immediately there for you. Was that a typo? Is that an error on my behalf? Is the value out of tolerance, but we can adjust the meter? If that was possible, we'd adjust the meter back into tolerance and restart the process again, because obviously all the values will have changed across the range. Um, if the value is out of tolerance, but the meter's not adjustable, 
it'd be a straight fail. There's no gray area, it's straight fail. Issue a fail certificate and mark the machine as failed calibration. In this instance, I'm gonna put it down as a typo, my error, and it's 26.3. Once all the results are entered, we're asked again to confirm everything's correct, yes. Uh, we're also asked, to, do we want to take wire speed? We've got a TIG welder, no wire speed involved, so that's a no. Because this is an AC-DC machine and the customer uses it for aluminium welding, we are gonna have to calibrate in the opposite polarity. Quite simple though, on the program, just hit the button, calibrate in opposite polarity. We've done TIG DC positive, we're gonna now do DC TIG negative. Everything else is the same, including the temperature. And then what we need to do is reverse the polarity to DC negative. A traditional transformer machine will work on a polarity switch, more modern inverter. You may have to go into background menus to reverse the polarity to carry out the calibration. Because we've changed polarity, we will have to reverse the cables to ensure that we don't get the polarities the wrong way round. So now we're basically going to repeat what we've done, but in the opposite polarity. Again, we energize the machine, either on the panel or by the trigger and then back through the process once more. So we're looking for 30 amps, 11.2. We record 30 amps, 11.0. And then the calibrator reading of 28 amps, 11.2. Next reading, 120 amps, 14.8. We record 120, 14.3. And then the calibrator reading of 119, 14.4. On to the next reading, 220 amps, 18.8. So we set the machine to 220. Then load up the calibrator to approximately 18.8 volts. We record 220, 18.5, then the calibrator reading, 218, 18.5. And then we'll take our penultimate reading of 310 amps, 22.4. So we set the machine, the welder, to 310. And load the calibrator to approximately 22.4. We'll record the welder reading of 310 amps, 22.9. And then the calibrator reading, 308, 22.6. Then our final reading, maximum, 400 amps. Looking for the voltage of 26 volts within that 10% window. We record 400 amps, 26.2. And the calibrator reading of 397, 25.6. Once that's entered, again, we'll be asked to confirm that everything's correct. Hit yes. Again, with the TIG, no 